Hello Project Charge While Driving fans and naysayers. I wanted to make this video real quick to show you how the cooling system and the lightning works. I've had a, a couple of people comment online of why it, it might not be good to charge while driving. And so I just want to show the uh, cooling system and what the components are in the front of the lightning. So this is the front area of the lightning. And what we've got right here is the DC DC converter that's essentially the alternator of the truck. It takes high voltage DC power here and outputs 12 volt power over here. So this keeps the 12 volt battery charged while, you know, under all conditions, while it's the vehicle's off and charging or while the vehicle is driving. And so I've got, I've got the vehicle charging right now it's been it's charging at 11 kilowatt which is the maximum for an SR which my truck is and this component right here is the charger it's the onboard charger Ford refers to it as the SOBDMA uh, which is I think a legacy term I don't know why they they seem to call components that don't fit in their normal model uh, SOBDMA it stands for secondary onboard diagnostic module and this one happens to be A. There are a B and a C on this truck. Um, it's also referred to as the BCCM, Battery Charge Control Module. Um, and this is the little offboard controller, uh, that charge controller, and it, it um, negotiates with superchargers and level three chargers. So right now, I've got, the, uh, I've got a um, thermal camera here. I'll turn it on, but I'll talk a little bit about while the uh, how the wiring works so the the charge ports up here the power comes in it, it comes right down here into the ac power into the um onboard charger and then dc goes out in the back you can't see it but for some reason ford has routed the dc high voltage dc all the way around here into this dc dc converter and then back out to the battery auxiliary port and I, the only reason I, I can fathom that they did that is because they, they put a four pin connector here and it basically they, they're making a junction here within this module. So they don't have to have a high voltage DC junction somewhere. Um, that's the only reason I can see why they did it, but they, they wasted quite a bit of wire doing that. But you'll see, I uh, got the camera booted up here now. You can see that wire is, that wire is hot, uh, literally and thermally. Um, electrically and thermally. Uh, it's, it's basically high voltage DC coming out of the back of the charger all the way around here to the DC DC converter and then back to the battery. And so you can see here, the truck's been charging at 11 kilowatts and it is, I mean, all components are, are cool relative to uh, that, that wire. And that wire is not even, um, it's not even, probably caught to the touch really. I'd say it's probably 110 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. So let's talk about cooling. Um, you can see the mired of cooling hoses and pumps and valves and everything. Um, this is a, a coolant valve that um, basically directs coolant to different places. This is a coolant, the coolant pump that's running right now as the vehicle's off and we're charging. And so, while the lightning charges, the DC-DC converter keeps the 12 volt battery powered because there's several modules that are on and involved with charging. Uh, so the 12 volt system has to be kept up. And as you can see the routing of the cooling here, this line, which is a coolant line that goes into the DC-DC converter, goes straight into the onboard charger. So, what that tells you and tells me is that the, cool, the same coolant that's flowing through the DC-DC converter is flowing through the secondary onboard charger, or onboard diagnostic module, the onboard charger. So while the vehicle is running down the road, this DC-DC converter has to be cooled. It's an active component that is charging the 12-volt battery all the time. So if the same coolant that's flowing through this that's thermally managing it is going through the onboard charger, then both components are being cooled. 
And so, I mean, that's just logical proof that the onboard charger is thermally managed while you're driving because it's in series with the DC-DC converter by coolant hoses. So anyway, um, I won't talk any more about the charge while driving project uh, on this uh, video, but we've got the Duramax 16 kilowatt generator and I have been uh, testing with it already and it's awesome. Uh, charging at a full 11 kilowatts while driving is is amazing and um, Martin has been testing with the Westinghouse that I had and he's he's gonna get this generator probably next week and do some tests with it as well and we'll be posting some quantitative numbers and performance of uh, both generators soon so thanks for watching